I would still be standing here. <laughs> Alain said that there are, you've got time for three points and five minutes. And I thought that I, what I would do is look at how things were when I first published my first article in Jibs in 1976, when of course I was 10 years old. <laughs> and now. And I think that, that things have really changed. The first thing is the changes in the international business environment. When Mark and I started on the future of the multinational enterprise, we started in 1974, we published it in 1976, same year as my first Jibs article. Multinationals were the bad guys, they were the enemy, they were the problem, they were the monopolists, they were the people who were screwing all the small countries. We had the big, big firm, small country problem. And Mark Twain said, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. <laughs> and we're back in the rhyming time, because now multinationals are not necessarily taken as all good. We talk about disbenefits as well as benefits. Multinationals were the villain in 1976 because of monopoly. Now they're the, the, the villains because they don't conform to CSR, environmental, the SDGs and so on. And we heard a very inspiring talk by the executive of the year around that issue. The second thing is that the international business as a subject has changed dramatically. Of course it's grown, there are many more competitors to the Jibs article. And we heard about the interdisciplinary nature of international business now. But the danger is, I think, that it loses the research focus. It loses the key focus. And I think there's possibly been too much concentration on managers and companies rather than policies. I seem to have spent all day today talking about the importance of policy. I think I've got policy written across my head. But I really think it's important because policy is now contested. Policy is now about, well, what about the benefits of international business, but what about those people who've been left out? What about the distributional issues? And in international business, we always have a new research agenda. And I think that's really important. The, the launch of the new journal is particularly important. And the final point is the academic milieu has changed dramatically. It was almost optional to produce research when I began in 1976, you know. I remember talking to somebody who had to explain what a refereed article was. Now there is so much pressure on researchers to get into the top journals and so on. So much stress and so much rewards. And I was asked recently, what is the most important characteristic that a researcher can have? My answer was stamina. <laughs> You've got to stay with it, and to stay with it, you have to believe in what you're doing. If you don't believe in what you're doing, nobody else is going to believe in what you're doing. It was really inspirational to hear uh, the voice of, of John Dunning and uh, John Dun Christine Dunning and and, and uh, uh, about Alan as well. These were people who really believed in what they were doing. And if we don't believe in it, nobody else will. Final point I'd like to make. One of my doctoral students asked me if this was going to be a real platinum medal. <laughs> and, I, and I told him that I didn't think that AIB could run to that. <laughs> but having looked at that award, something struck me very forcibly. There's only one name on it, mine. And that is a total characterization of what has happened. My co-authors in here, my family, and the whole group of international business students deserve that as much as I do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Peter, for these uh, inspiring words. Uh, thank you all for coming. Welcome to the reception with cake. And please do keep enjoying all our jazz, full professional.